I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solutions of questions for my subscriber. It is on vectors and geometry. We have two questions here. Write down vector equation of a line which is parallel to the y-axis and passes through a point minus 2, minus 7, 4. And second question is, write down vector equation of a line which is perpendicular to yz plane and passes through the point 5y plus 2j minus 9k, right? So let me make our three plane here. Let's say that's our axis, right? So <clears throat> normally we take x along this direction, y and z. That's the origin. Now what do we need? We need to write vector equation of a line which is parallel to y-axis and is going through a point. So when I say minus 2, minus 7, 4, what does it mean? Minus 2 means you'll go 2 units to this direction. Minus 7 means you'll go 7 units here and 4 will be somewhere here, right? So we have a point right there. Now we need to write vector equation of a line which is parallel to y-axis. That means it kind of goes like this. Do you see that? Parallel to y-axis. It really means that if you start from the given point, let's say the point is A for us. So we'll write R. The equation is the point A, which is minus 2, minus 7 and 4, plus all these points along the line will be scalar multiple of what? You have to only move along the y direction. There, x and z values, minus 2 and 4, will remain same. So, so those are 0, right? So, but along the y, we'll put 1 here and then 0 along. See, do you see that? So that is the vector equation in the given direction, right? In some nomenclatures, you will find that the equation will be written in this form, minus 2. Uh, minus 7, 4, plus t times 0, 1, 0. The reason is that that gives you the the position vector. And so this is the direction vector. Is it okay? No, that is a better one. Or you may write it in i, j, k form. However, that becomes your equation. Correct? Now let's do the next one, which is write down vector equation of a line which is perpendicular to y, z plane. Now, y, z plane is right there. So, let's shade what is y, z plane. So, this plane we are talking about, that is y, z plane. Think about the wall in front of you. That is the y, z plane. Now, if I have to write equation of line perpendicular, that means it is like coming out of it or going inside. Do you see that? <clears throat> we are given a point here, which is 5y, 2j, minus 9. So, <laughs> I'll also take this opportunity to locate these points. 5y means move 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2j means 1, 2. Minus 9k means go now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Somewhere there is your point. But what you're doing here is, you are only moving perpendicular to this particular plane. And therefore, your line will be, uh, let's take a... <coughs> broader pen. So your line will be kind of getting into that or coming out of it. Do you see that? So it is kind of like this. So that is the kind of line which you are looking into. So in which direction are you moving? You are moving along x, correct? Since you are moving along x, so therefore the equation will be, let me write it in a different form uh, as given here, 5i plus 2j minus 9k. So these are unit vectors, correct? These are unit vectors along x, y, z plus s times the direction along which we are moving and this direction will be along the x-axis. Is it okay? So we could write this as i, right? And uh, the other vectors are, are zero, correct, in this particular case. So, so there's no need to write them. So that is it. So just i or you could write I zero zero as you wish. You could also write this as five two minus nine. Since my videos are being watched in different places and everybody is using different nomenclatures, 
so I'm just giving you answers in different forms <coughs> so, but all these are vector equations so anyway so that could be your answer I hope that helps thank you and all the best